25 years ago, when I was in my late 30s, the New York Times wrote an article about the organization I founded. Super Women's Anonymous was a club for baby boomer women who were tired of trying to have, do and be it all. The phone rang off the hook and I found myself with lucrative speaking engagements, media appearances and a book deal with a major publisher. In fact, it was just after meeting with my publisher to finalize the deal that I recall standing on Fifth Avenue, deeply breathing in the heady sense that I had secured my destiny, that through this book, I had been tapped by the gods as immortal, to make a long story short. Just before my book came out, someone else hit the media circuit with a book on the same topic. The books cancelled each other out, and as any author will tell you, there's nothing more deflating to youthful illusions of immortality than walking into a bargain bookstore and seeing your life's work on the remainder table for 99 cents. Let's block ads. Why?